Hi everyone, this is Susie Creamer from Patterson Park Audubon Center. Just out here in the garden, enjoying the weather and enjoying the colors, and I wanted to share a couple things with you. One of the things I'd like to share is layering as an important technique to create habitat for birds. So starting here at the ground layer, I've got some blue eye grass, some coreopsis, some things that stay fairly close to the ground. Um, and then moving up a little bit, <clears throat> some purple cone flower, right? I do have some daisies. They're my, not my one, number one plant for birds, but um, the echinacea are great because of the seeds. I've got a couple different varieties here, allowing for some tall growth, giving shelter to the birds. Also a shrub layer you might notice here. I've got mountain laurel here. Um, and then back in a ways, I've got some idea, which is a little hard to see back there. Virginia sweet spires in the mix, hard to see. Um, <clears throat> and then in here, just a mix of things, even where you can't see them, having some of those lower layers down here. Um, I've got golden Alexander, which has gone to seed at this point, right in the middle of the frame next to the echinacea. I've also got some Minarda or bee balm. This is a smaller variety with the, the purple flower that you see in the background, not the foreground. A um, number of good things here. And then I've got some taller. These are about hip high. These echinacea along with black eyed Susan, Rudbeckia. These are great seed producers for the birds. And I see tons of pollinators all over these. Around this side, I have some, some more low growing stuff such as flock species underground. You might catch a glimpse of the Minarda in there, as well as uh, some Amsonia. I'll zoom in a bit here for all the plant nerds in the back. It's right about there in the middle. So zooming out again, we've got so much color this time of year. More yellow Coreopsis and butterfly flower right here. As you probably know, milkweed is so important for monarch butterflies. Coming over this way, I've got some golden rod, I've got some golden ground sole. This will be a great ground cover. I've just gotten a couple of these thanks to a gift from my neighbor. They'll be spreading next year, right next to more phlox, which is a good ground cover. A little nodding onion right there, just starting to nod more blue-eyed grass back here, and then in the shadier spots I've got the white wood aster and also more of the golden groundsel you can see back here. So really trying to think about that layering. I've got hydrangea and things too. I'm not too strict about it being 100% natives as long as I'm not planting species that are ecologically destructive and um, what we call invasive, meaning they'll take over not let anything else grow. Um, so thanks for letting me share a bit of my garden and a little bit about the layering of different heights of plants that you can enjoy in your space. So many different colors this time of year I just had to share.